This is the start of our 3,500 mile source to sea canoe adventure. Each week, you can be part of the adventure by exploring the river with us from its mountain start to ocean end and all the places in between. The river might even go by your town. This week, we will explore one of the places the river begins in the mountains on Triple Divide Peak. We're hiking to the top of Triple Divide Peak and it's taken us a lot of work to get here. Why are we hiking to the top of Triple Divide Peak? Because Triple Divide Peak is a really special peak. I'll show you. Let's go up there and check it out. Triple Divide Peak, 7,397 feet above sea level. Our goal is to travel all the way to sea level, zero feet of elevation. Here we go. Let me introduce you to our On the River team. This is Aaron. He loves birds and teaching. Matt is really good at whitewater kayaking. Nia is a biologist from Wales. Sarah is studying to be a teacher, and so is Tommy. Sarah and Tommy can only paddle during the summer. And I'm Sarah. We're on Triple Divide, three oceans, one peak. Triple Divide Peak is special because water on Triple Divide Peak can flow to three oceans. This water and all the water in this valley flows to the Pacific Ocean. Water going down this valley flows to the Arctic Ocean. And water going down this valley flows to the Atlantic Ocean. And this is the water we're going to follow all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. In fact, the start of our trip will be following melting snow. The snow melt all leads to a small creek called Atlantic Creek. Creeks grow in size as more and more melting snow flows together. We'll follow Atlantic Creek as it gets bigger and bigger until it meets Cutbank Creek, the next creek on our journey. Once we get to Cutbank Creek, enough water will have joined together for us to be able to canoe. Once we can canoe, we're going to canoe all the way to the Mississippi River and the Gulf of Mexico. Now because all of this land goes to the Mississippi River, we call this the Mississippi River Watershed. A watershed is basically all the land and creeks that flow to the same spot. So this is the Mississippi Watershed. This is a map of the United States and all the land inside the dotted lines is part of the Mississippi River Watershed because all the water on this land goes to the Mississippi River. You can use your hand to form watersheds just like the Mississippi River Watershed. Form your hand into the shape of a mountain. You'll see it'll form two slopes and a ridge. Now water flows downhill, so if this was rain, some of the rain would land on this side of the ridge and go downhill to this ocean, and some of the rain would land on this side of the ridge and go downhill to this ocean. In North America, this tallest ridge is called the Continental Divide. Rain, that, rain melting snow on this side flows to the Atlantic Ocean, and any water on this side flows to the Pacific Ocean. But Triple Divide is an extra special peak because not only can rain flow to the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean, there's a third slope that flows to the Arctic Ocean. It's 3,500 miles from here to the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to paddle the water the entire way, pass through 13 states, be posting videos and updates along the way, meeting a lot of you. See us next time when we take five on the river. <laughs>